just got back from hanging out with a friend who works at Evergreen Aviation. More videos later. Yes, we will be big doing... Big plans, big plans. We will be doing a special on that, so I hope you guys will get a kick out of it when we do it. Um, we brought that one with us, and he's completely exhausted from working. Heimdall, you want to say hi to people? Huh? You want to say hello? As you can tell, he's, he's not very energetic he's right now. He's tired. It was kind of a unplanned trip today that we stopped right. by and saw a friend yesterday on the way home. And well, not really on the way home, it was a little bit of a detour, but just a little bit. We had something we've been holding on for two years that we forgot about. And amidst completing the car for yesterday, is all our errands we were running, we found it. And I'm like, hey, why don't we just stop by and drop it off? That way we can one, get it out of the car, and two, Stop worrying about trying to remember it. Yeah, it was a stupid little sticker. For those of you who are Star Wars fans, you would have loved it. It was a Stormtrooper sticker. Perfect for our buddy who is a Star Wars nut who, when we later do the specials for you know, going to Evergreen once we get uh, permission from the head honchos over there. Yep, we gotta get permission first. And yep. my our friend, Joe, he's gonna be our tour guide for it. And so we're gonna be doing kind of like an interview style type of thing. So anyway, he he's another Star Wars nut, so yeah. granted, I like Star Wars, but that's all I have to say. Live long and prosper, my friends. Um, sorry, I, I, like I said, I like Star Wars, but I, I'm a born and raised Trekkie, so that's going to be like that for a while. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. They've got a lot of cool things out there at Evergreen. Um, if you ever get a chance, please, please go to McMinnville, go to Evergreen Aviation, um, look for a guy named Joe, let him be your uh, tour guide, he's amazing, he's Plus, quite funny. Yeah, he has some good colorful commentary and he knows a lot of the little interesting little tidbits that most people tend to overlook. I mean, yeah, they're kind of useless, but it's still kind of a nifty little thing to know. Yep. Um, he will make a point to try to keep you laughing in good spirits, so that's oh, yeah. always a good thing. But yeah, he, it was fun. It was nice. It was uh, really nice. The atmosphere there is really laid back, really cool. Um, go on a cooler day. You will get warm walking around in you there. You will get warm walking around, especially up in the cruise. Yeah. Um, in case you guys didn't know, Evergreen Aviation Museum in McMinnville, Oregon is the home of the Spruce Goose. Yep. They have been making payments on it, and I believe he said it was this month. They make the last payment to own the Spruce Goose outright, free and clear. Yep. So, it will be officially owned by Evergreen Aviation. So, they also have a water park. Come in the summer, get to play, bring your kids. Uh, they, they you get to go have, through a 747? Uh, I think it is a 747 or a 757, I don't remember, but... You, they have it on top of the water park the stairwell. You can climb all the way up and you go out the side door down a water slide. Yep. It's actually really cool. We haven't been yet. We really want to go. Um, I need course. to lose a little bit more chip before I... Yeah, I'm not wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> You'd be fine. I'm not wearing a bathing suit. Anyway. Um, but it looks really cool. Uh, of course, that'll be one where there won't be a video of just because liability and yeah. we don't want any parents to think the wrong thing or wrong ideas. If I can get an after hours of going up there and, and showing you the plane and how everything's done, then yeah, I'll do that. But if if the big wheels tell us no, well, I'm sorry, we can't do it. But we can video the outside of it so you see what it looks like. Yeah, and they do have a lot of uh, different aircraft outside that yep. you can take a look at that you just walk up to no real information behind most of them so yeah having one of the tour guides or what they like to title themselves as from the company is they call them docents yep i you could ask me the historical meaning or the significance of it and i have it the foggiest clue we'll have our friend joe tell you what it means and all yeah. that and in case you couldn't tell too well through the background going by over here it's typical Oregon weather for springtime. So and it's piss and rain. Overcast, rain, and you know, kind of the usual. That's why they say Oregonians. You can tell when they're around. Because they're wearing a hoodie, shorts, and flip flops, and it's raining. Well, we're kind of missing the shorts and the flip flops, but we got the hoodies. Yeah, well, she's 
got the hoodie. I just got the polo. Same name, it just doesn't have a hoodie. Yeah, it, does, yeah, yeah. it does the same thing. <laughs> so, but we're gonna keep this one short because you know, we want to get home, relax for a little bit. Yeah. We've got to grab showers and all yeah. our normal routine and then figure out just exactly what we're gonna do with dinner. We have some ideas and- We have some ideas that involves eggs, uh, little smokies, little tiny wiener sausages, they're really good, and possibly toast. Yeah. We'll see. Um, if she's feeling up to it, we might do a little bit of uh, vlogging of it, just because it's something stupid simple, inexpensive, yep. but it's actually really yummy. Uh, our friend has chickens. Hi, Kelsey. Um, so we get farm fresh eggs from her, and I shit you not, these are the best eggs I've ever had. And I used to live on a farm. These are the best eggs I've ever had. Yeah, she does really good on her eggs, so, yeah. you know, we look forward to whenever we get more from her. Yep. It's cheaper for us at this moment to not go out and buy eggs when we can get them for free from our friend. And she always tries to figure out what to do with them because she can't cook the eggs fast enough. A lot of people are like that, so. Yeah. I'm stealing all your eggs there, Kelsey. <laughs> Give her all the eggs. All the eggs. All the chicken eggs. Anyway. Um, so we're gonna head home and we'll see you probably around dinner time. We might see you at our friend Kenzie's house when we go to take showers. Hi that Kenzie. depends on how she's doing, Kenzie. So we'll see you later. Um, if we don't upload for cooking dinner and all that, don't worry, you'll see us on the next upload. Yep, we have a lot of things planned, a lot of things coming, it's just taking a long time. We've so. got to get, for a lot of them, we have to get permission from you know, the property owners and yeah. of course avoid any potential legal troubles. So yeah. bear with us on some of that. So yes, our uploads are few and far between at this moment, but we'll, we got you, we got you, just be we, patient. Yeah, we wanna make sure that everything's on the up and up and legal so that none of the videos get pulled down and nobody gets in trouble. And so we can keep bringing you guys videos like this and keep bringing, you know, interesting little, you know, hole in the wall places to go to that yep. a lot of people don't know about. Oh yeah. And yes, for a lot of you, in case you hadn't noticed, our Subaru, it is a manual, it is a standard. The only way to go, if you ask my opinion. That's a real car right there. Um, <laughs> nothing, no hating on the automatics. They no. have their place purpose, but I'm sorry. I'd rather be able to downshift into a gear and engine brake better than you can an automatic, but hey, personal preference. Sometime, hey, automatic Subarus actually get better fuel mileage than this thing does, so. Yes, they do, and I can go into the technical aspect of that for some of you guys later on in a later video. Um, if that's what you wanna know, let us know. Write it in the comments, comments below, right there, right yeah. down there. And for those of you who are new to watching the videos now, please, please, if you like the video and you wanna see some of our upcoming adventures, make sure to hit that little like button down below and be sure to hit the, the little bell. Yep, hit that little bell. That way. click subscribe. Every time we put up a video, you can find out about it. Yep. And we have a lot of adventures coming, especially this summer, early summer. If he doesn't get to do fire season this year, then, well. There'll be a lot more adventures. There's gonna be a lot more little travels here and there. Um, I love going to the coast, so there's gonna be a lot of coast vlogs. We might wind up in Washington. We've done that a few times. We might even, we might go to Idaho. Yeah. You never know. Um, yep, we might go to Idaho. That's something that I kind of want to do. And if we do, Steffi, I'm sorry. We're just gonna have we're to gonna be surprise like, you. hey, by the way, how do we get to your house? <laughs> well, well, you gotta go this way. No, we're already in here. How do we get down to your street? Yeah, we're we're sitting here. So just as a surprise, Steffi. So don't be too surprised. And we love you. We love you. All right. We'll see you guys later. All right. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah, See you later. Tired, See you guys later and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Bye.